major news in the world of AI. It looks like GPT-4 will be coming out between the 12th and around the 18th of March. So that's next week, 2023. So this is big news and this could be really big changes and improvements to both ChatGPT and Bing Chat. On 9 March 2023, during a special Microsoft event in Germany called AI in Focus Digital Kickoff, Andres Braun, CTO, Microsoft Germany, and Lead Data and AI STU stated that the release of GPT-4 was imminent. Braun specifically stated that we will introduce GPT-4 next week. There, we will have multimodal models that will offer completely different possibilities. For example, videos. Holger Kinn, Chief Technologist, Business Development, AI, and Emerging Technologies, Microsoft Germany, further explained that GPT-4 will be a multimodal AI, which means that it can translate text into images, music, and video. Microsoft representatives also warned that the AI is still not 100% reliable. Issues of hallucinations would still exist, but that they're working on different ways to continually improve the issue. So these enhanced AI capabilities will also mean that the AI can now do things like spoken word speech to text. So this is really powerful because imagine where it can take in the spoken word, put it all into text and then summarize, for, summarize it all together for you and then give you information about it. So you could ask it questions about that text. You could ask it questions about that speech. So this would be really powerful for things like call centers, of course, but also imagine interviews that are conducted. So in academia, imagine doing actual qualitative research where you do in-depth interviews to get sort of uh, an understanding of the, the participants' ideas or their, you know, the phenomenology of what, what occurred within their experience. Imagine doing those deep interviews and then turning over that captured audio to the AI we can now transcribe it for you completely, as well as give you a summary, as well as even go through and do an initial pass, at least for identifying themes, identifying patterns. All of this was what the new AI will be able to do. So again, lots of possibilities and applications here for academia. These new possibilities and capabilities makes a lot of sense given recent papers and Microsoft announcements. This was also highlighted by fellow YouTuber and AI researcher, Matt Wolf, these other research papers and announcements express specifically how AI can actually fully understand video and images that's presented to it, meaning that you can ask it questions, you can ask questions to the AI about the media contents. It would be able to answer questions about what it sees, what it understands in the video itself. And again, this creates all sorts of other possibilities and applications for use in academia. Another YouTuber and AI researcher, AI Explained, in analyzing multiple recent AI research articles, predicts that some of the main GPT-4 improvements will be in, in specific areas such as general reasoning, understanding physics, some improvements in math, comprehensions, comprehension of alternative human yes-no responses, reading comprehension, more advanced coding capabilities, as well as just general improvements in speed of output. The fact that GPT-4 will be released a mere three and a half months after ChatGPT even came out is really, really sort of pushing the envelope here and really making us see the lightning pace that's going on with these improvements, with this advancement of, of ChatGPT and AI in general. So this really highlights the need for us in academia to start to understand this, to really be helping our students. AI literacy is a must. We have to be incorporating it. We have to be pushing it for our own sake, as well as to really help our students to be able to, to cope and to deal with the ever advancing, ever improving realities that they face right now. And remember, learning is for life.